Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be looking at the new Microsoft build, which is 22000.593, or KB5011563. This is a C release for this month and thus comes with a few new features and minor improvements. You can either try the optional patch through Windows Update or the offline installers of the version. The new update is an optional update, and it will not install automatically unless you categorically click on the Get Updates button. However, this optional update can be skipped if you don't have to install it, unless you really need those minor improvements and bugs fixed. Talking about the improvements that come along with the new update is not that big. Firstly, we get to see the notification tab which will now display up to 3 high priority toast notifications. It is likely that you will notice up to 4 toast notifications, where you will find 3 high priority notifications, and 1 normal priority notification. After this we get to see the fix for an issue where the OneDrive file would lose focus if you rename it, and presses the enter key. Next we have some fixes for the issues with systemsettings.exe and searchindexer.exe talking about the minor fixes we will observe. A fixed memory leak in the wmipicmp.dll, execution policy settings issues. An issue where web browsers like Edge would not correctly render HTML that is generated by GP result. An issue where PowerShell tests for AppLocker wouldn't work with access to Nightair. An issue where Kerberos.dll could stop working within the local security authority subsystem service. As you may know that Windows 11 officially supports newer processor with TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. In order to make aware the user the hardware is not supported, Microsoft is now placing a watermark that appears above the system tray at the bottom right on the desktop, below the activation error. The watermark was previously seen in preview builds, and now it appears as today's optional update. If you want to know more about this build, a link to the official Microsoft blog has been added to the description. So, that was all new from Microsoft, about this build, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.